There we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Come on in. Thank you for joining Nadia's Crafty Corner today. I'm looking outside. I'm trying to ignore it. There's snow. I'm just not. Mm. I'm just going to ignore what's happening out there and focus on <laughs> what's happening on our table. I'm just trying to find us. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. All right, let me find us. And find us here. How is everybody doing? Welcome in, welcome everybody. If you are new, thank you for coming in. I am Nadia, hi Brenda. Uh, can't find me. How is everybody doing? How was everybody's weekend? Hope everybody had a fantastic weekend celebrating with family. And if you weren't celebrating, I hope you had a wonderful weekend as well. Let me just, there we go. Hello, welcome in. All right, so I'm going to pin our um, address. So if you're new, again, I'm Nadia. Thank you for joining in. Um, Nadia's Crafty Corner is where we live and where we make all the fun and magic happen. And we are just working on some beautiful, beautiful projects. It's exciting because there's just like so much that, you know, we want to get done, but so little time. I don't know. Is it just me or is everybody? It's never enough time. Never, never enough time. So here we are. How is everybody? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Debbie. That is so sweet of you. That is very sweet. I'm trying to pin my website, but I'm not having any luck. Kelly, can you help me with that, please? Can you pin my website? so that everybody knows where to find all the goodies today. And come on in. So I don't know what part of the world you're in, but it's snowing in New York, just a little bit. So it is what it is, but we are going to focus on, for some reason I can't pull us up on my laptop, but no problem. I have us here and I can see the comments. As long as I can see the comments, we are good to go. All right. So forget the snow. We're going to focus on what we got going on today. Lots of things going on uh, this week in um, Nadia's Crafty Corner. So we are going to put together two. There's two kits for today. Um, and they are fun. A lot of fun. This one is one of the kits. We will be using a ring board. And this is what you get in the kit. This one, it's just different colors. It's the natural burlap with all the goodies. I just want to make sure, there we go, that I'm in the camera with this very pretty mini flower. And I'm going to tell you more about that. So this is one of the kits for today. And the one we are going to work on, it's going to be a little bit more of uh, bright colors. So we will be working with 21 inch mesh on the ring board. So this is what you get in the kit. When you get it in the kit, it won't be pipe cleaned already. So that's a step. I just did it to save a couple of minutes, but I'm going to show everybody how to do that. And um, also in the kit, you will get the mesh already cut the size. So this is, this is what I'm hearing from a lot of you that have already have purchased the kits. It is amazing. Um, for so many different ways, a, you have no waste of anything. Uh, there is no leftovers and you don't need any extra tools to get anything done. Um, actually I've been getting a lot of orders for uh, parties and ladies night in get togethers and stuff like that and it is great because again you don't need anything everything you need is in this pretty box which is that's how you get our kits and 
we are going to da, 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 da. all right so like i said you'll get the board and the 21 inch mesh cut to size you're going to get pipe cleaners that you will need you're also going to get um 10 inch mesh cut the size this is the one we are going to use um today so these three are the ones we'll be using and we are going to use oh my goodness i'm so excited about this i love 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 did i say that i love this ribbon so so pretty we did it last week with summery fun bright colors and then i came across this and i'm like oh we have to do some with that so you will get those ribbon tails together we with these two ribbon tails everything cut to size you are getting a gorgeous ready-made bow yes it does come all fluffed up ready for you to have your fun and you are going to get this beautiful you're probably reading it <laughs> backwards but this beautiful sign that comes with pipe cleaners ready to attach um, to the sign. One thing I like to mention, any sign, any wood, anything I do that pertains to wood and wreath attachments that could potentially be outside, I use outdoor paint. Um, so that's already a lot more resistant. And then I go ahead and seal everything once I'm done with it once again. So, um, Rest assured, <laughs> it is well protected and well sealed. So, for this one, instead of the sign in this kit, you will get the little mini flower. Now, let me show you. I'm sure you can see them behind me. Um, these are fantastic, amazing. Let me take this off. Maybe it's easier. Um, wreath centers this one is a personalized one that we made for mother's day which makes a beautiful um center for a wreath um i actually got a very large order for this you know mother's day is coming so this is a big a big deal um this kind and these are these are actually uh for a um bridal shower uh and her color are rose gold and white but it's not white it's a bit of a creamy color so that's what we did we do have a uh, class coming up um for these mini flowers that could be done in three different sizes with different backs uh, all different ways to hang them so you will get a lot uh, of information out of this class and that's going to be tomorrow night on my page so if you're interested check it out if you have any questions just message me um, and I will answer all your questions. All right. So let me put this back and we can get started with today's projects. Let me pull up my comments. Hello, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining in. All right. And as you no, if you watched me a few times, I am a very messy crafter. So let me <laughs> clean my space and make sure that we have room to play and have some flip-flop fun today because, again, we're ignoring what's happening out there. Okay, so this could go. So how is everybody? South Carolina. We got, I love to see where everybody comes from because it's like so great how we can all meet in one place, but we are so far apart. It's really, really very interesting to me um, to see all the different places. Um, okay, so now this will start with the blue, so this can move out. This can move out for a minute. All right, so for the board, I'm going to show you how we are going to um, put the pipe cleaners. We are going to go, so the board has three um, rows 
um, the top, the middle, and the bottom, well, the inside. So um, we are going to every other one using row one and two, okay? So that's how we're going to do it for the first round. But then we're going to go back and we are going to use row two and three, and we're going to put whatever else is missing. So it will be every other one again. Um, and for the pipe cleaners, you just, no, let me do it this way. You insert it and then go back on the bottom and pull it out. Um, for this project, for this method that we are using today, it is best to prepare it and do it ahead of time um, because you'll see the nature of what we are doing. So I'm going to do it again. One and two. Very easy. And the pipe cleaners can we sprinkle for you. I would love for you to sprinkle, Jean. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to go all around and just put in my pipe cleaners. And once that's done, we are going to be all set. Now we start with the board being around 15 inches. <clears throat> once we done, oops, once we are done, you'll see, we'll see, we'll measure it and see what size this beautiful wreath is going to be. So there we go. So the top and the bottom zigzag all the way around, okay? That's how we're going to do it, all right? Now, I'm going to bring the camera down, and hello, Linda. I'm going to bring the camera down, and we can get started on this amazing summer project. So, let me go, so that way you can see the project and not me. There we go. You can see, perfect. Let me make sure that I'm centered. There we go, okay. Keep my comments up. So I try to pay attention to everyone's questions and comments. Should I miss anything? Please just repeat it, okay? Um, I don't wanna miss anyone's questions. All right, so I'm going to prep all my pipe cleaners. So we are going to start with, so let me do this. That way it's a little less confusing. There we go. Okay, we are going to start with the outside. Okay, so on the outside is where we are first going. Okay, so those are the pipe cleaners that we are going to be using. Um, and there's gonna be eight, okay? So eight outside on the ring. <clears throat> and like I said, the pieces will come already cut for you, which is a beautiful thing, okay? So it is naturally curled, and that's the way we're going to leave it, okay? That's the method we are going to use today. You just want to make sure that they're all the same size when, when you're working with it, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure about um, five and a half inches, and I'm going to pinch, and that's what it forms, like a cute little curl or whatever you want to call it that I can't think of right now. <laughs> Let me get my... And you're going to put it in your first pipe cleaner. Let me make sure I'm there. Okay. And you give it two twists. Two is enough because we are going to go back. And I'm going to go again, another about five and a half inches. And I'm going to pinch and I'm going to put it in my pipe cleaner again. And what I wanna do is I want my poof and my curls to go on the outside. Now, do not worry so much because this is all gonna be filled and it's not going to show anything by the time we are done. So again, it's curled up. You are just going to do a large curl Okay, you wanna make sure that they are more or less all the same um, size, about five and a half inches. You're going to twist. And what we are going to do this time, we are going to overlap, okay? So that each pipe cleaner is going to have two curls, 
okay? And this is the same method that I used for the um, other wreath that I showed you before with the more rustic, the burlap, the natural burlap color, okay? So that's how, oh, no, that does not look good. So let's fix it. Going to go back. I'm going to about that size and I'm going to go in and close it in. And again, I want my curls and my poofs to be on the outside. So as you go around, each pipe cleaner will have two, um, will have two poofs, okay? Two curls, however you wanna call them. So you go ahead and you overlap it. Let me make sure I'm not missing any comments. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I am Nadia from Nadia's Crafty Corner. This fun kit today, we actually have two patriotic. One is with flip-flops and a beautiful welcome summer sign. And the other one has a beautiful mini flower that, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be just for um, the holidays, like the ones I'm making for the bridal shower. She is going to take them down and then decorate her house with it because, you know, that's something that she could keep. So I'm going to twist and again, I'm going to pinch and go in. And that's all really that there is to it. You just keep on going in. Um, make sure that you have two on each pipe cleaner. And you go all the way around. Five, five and a half. So, and that's, that's the beauty like with this, you could really just enjoy the craft. I've had many, many of you that purchased my kits and they were like, I never made a wreath before in my life and never thought I could do it. But this way is just great because you can enjoy something without worrying about what other tools you might need, what is it gonna happen with all the leftovers. Some of us don't have a lot of room to store extra stuff. Now, this is how my little mini flower was born. Um, let me grab one so who just came in can see. This is our mini flower attachment, right? That's how this was born. I had a lot of, of the um, 10 inch, leftover mesh and I'm like, okay, what, what are we doing with all of this? So this was a great way. This is an amazing way to use up whatever leftovers you have and make something beautiful that you could keep. That you can keep. Okay. So again, you want to make sure that everything goes, oops, I made that a little too short. There we go. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. All right. Okay. So again, you just roll it. Let me just do it again so that everybody can see. You just roll it. You don't want to make it too tight. You want to take your five and a half inch and make sure that you go over so that each pipe cleaner has two. Oops. Each pipe cleaner has two poofs, two rolls, whatever. And we're going to go on this side. So we started with the ring being... 15 and a half inches, and we're gonna end up with about 22, 23 inches. So that's not too big, that's not too small. That's a perfect size 
um, my daughter lives in a, um, an apartment and she loves to have something on the door, but of course we have to be, you know, careful on the size and this, we found this to be the perfect size for her door. So there we go. All right. So now we have completed the first round and as you can see, it's already nice and full. And now we're going to go back and go on the inside. So we used these pipe cleaners. Now we're gonna go on the inside every other, and we're gonna repeat the same step <clears throat> with a different color, okay? You don't have to do a different color like I did the other kit. It's all the same color all around. And then we just added little touches. And this is the kind of style, I can't call it a petal, <laughs> like a petal was coming out, but no, it's not a petal. Um, no, what time is the class tomorrow? Um, it is the class tomorrow night, it's a seven. Oh, thank you, Diane, I didn't see you already answer. Thank you. Okay, so we're going in with the red one, red and white stripes. We're gonna do the same thing. And we have our pretty poofs coming up. We are not cutting any of the pipe cleaners yet because we are not done with this beauty. Okay. We also have another class coming up because I've had a lot of, and, and this, hold on, let me back pedal a minute. Um, whether you knew or you've been with me already, please just know that I am always available to answer any questions. Um, I am a, what you would say, a self-made business, and I struggled at the beginning because, of course, there's a lot of things you don't know, a lot of things you haven't learned, a lot of things that were new, a lot of things that are confusing. Um, so I, and I do, <laughs> I do a lot of research. Um, I like to know the what, when, where, why, who, like I like to know it all. Um, and because of the nature of my job, I am very big with reports. So, um, I'm, I'm all about it. And I have had many, many um, wonderful people that now I can call friends ask me, how? How did you do it? What was this? What was that? How did you figure this out? How did you figure that out? How did you get your Etsy shop like this? How did you, how do you do this? How do you deal with the shipping? And yes, I can tell you, look, you go and you do this tab, that tab, and you do your shipping, but it's, it wasn't easy for me to do it that way. Um, because then when you go and do it, there's always a, Ooh, no, that's not it. Ooh, I made a mistake. Ooh, I don't know what that means. So because I want to pass on all my learnings, we have an amazing business class on Thursday night that it's all about the beginning of Etsy. Okay. How do you put a photo up? What does Facebook, mm, sorry, what does Etsy want you to do? What's the best way? How do you do tags? How do you do titles? All things that took me a very long time and a lot of mistakes to learn. So how to post something and a lot of, a lot of my friends, my new friends, I have to say, <laughs> oh, it takes so long. No, it doesn't. It's just that you are not used to it. So it's confusing. And when it's confusing, it's frustrating. Um, oh, wait a minute. We have a new guest. Oh, welcome, welcome. Well, thank you for coming in. Um, 
So if you, again, have questions, if you want to know anything about our business class, feel free to message me and I will give you more info about it. But it is something that I wish I had it because yes, you can learn about stuff like that, but you would have to watch 25 YouTube videos and everybody has a different, something that they want you to buy. No, what's gonna happen Thursday night if you sign into this class, you will work alongside of me with your own computer, with your own device. And if you get stuck, we are right there and we're gonna do it together. And we're gonna walk through it because when you do it is when you have the questions. So I want everybody to walk out of that class Thursday night saying, wow, now I know, now I feel better. So um, hope to see you guys there because it's definitely an amazing way and an amazing opportunity to push your business. Oops, what are you doing, Nadia? Oh, there we go. Candy's also new. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you're interested in these kits or the signs or just the flower because you have the material, um, just visit our website, NadiasCrafts.com, and you'll find everything there. Everything that is new for today, I put it in the feature section so it was easy to, to, to find. Um, and like I said, don't ever hesitate to contact me with any question that you might possibly have. There we go. Come on, Nadia, what are you doing? Mary, it's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you, my Mary. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. Okay, so this is the end of our 21 inch mesh. And you see how full our wreath looks already. So you don't see the board, you don't see anything. And we are not even done yet. So I am not taking the pipe cleaners out yet. There we go. Let me clean up a little bit around myself. Okay, so we have our blue, our red, our white. Now, where is my, oh, because you know, we have to add a little some some. So these, this is 10 inch border mesh. You again, will get it, cut the size. Um, and we are not doing anything. We are just going to roll it. Squeeze it in the center. And you see how it shows the pretty border. And we are going to put it on the inside. So this is gonna go on the inside over like that. You see, now we brought the blue in everywhere. And at this point, you could go in and cut the pipe cleaners. When I cut the pipe cleaners, I cut them about an inch and then I push them down. And then I want my border mesh to come up, okay, like that. So we're gonna do that all around. And again, very simple. We are going to just roll, not too tight. Let me show you, not too tight. Come on, Nadia, come on, Nadia. There we go, like so, yes. Squeeze in the center and go into our where am I? Okay, go right here. And again, this is the same technique on the other kit, which I'm gonna show you. Um, we just used different colors on that one. Okay, cut one inch up. And look at that. Now you have another little touch of color right there. And there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Thank you all so much for joining us today. 
for our really cool summer, welcome summer, <laughs> patriotic flip-flops. Ooh, I just lost something. There we go. Okay. And I like my border to show, so I'm going to pull it up. And again, and usually, I'm sure if you followed me before, you've seen that most time we prepare the petals, the poofs, the curls ahead of time. But for this kind, I prefer to just do as I go along um, because I need to position it. And if I was to clip it or put a, a pin or close pin on it, it might leave a mark where I do not want it. And then I might need to change. So it's best to just go alongside. I am so excited to put that gorgeous bow and that beautiful sign on this pretty wreath. So I'm going to make you guys laugh. You know, I make a lot of wreaths, obviously. <laughs> and I do a lot of uh, decor stuff, you know, floral arrangements and all kinds of stuff. And my daughters come home last weekend, not this past Easter weekend, but the weekend before. And they come inside, they don't say, Ma, how you doing? You know, so happy to see you. No, they're like, Ma, there's nothing on your front door. And I looked at them and I just, that's it. I had nothing to say. I'm like, you know what, girls? Fine. I will, I will put something in our front door. So I finally decided on Friday, this past Friday, to take a little break from my workshop and just decorate my door. And I was so proud. I'm like, oh, it's so bright and cheerful and it's so cool is the outside 21 inch mesh rolled yes yes um oh irene from scotland welcome in so i decorated my front made it all pretty and i couldn't wait for them to come home and be like oh ma they came home they didn't even see it and I looked at them and I was like, girls, really? And they're like, oh yeah, looks nice. I'm like, wow, you gave me a lecture for half an hour about how I didn't have anything on my door. Now I do and all you can say, oh yeah, it's nice. These kids, man, these kids. Okay, now what are we doing? We are going to go have some fun with, what do you guys think so far? Look how colorful that is. Wait till we add all the other, all the other, all the other stuff here. Let me put these out of the way. Okay, let me get a sip of water. Okay. So we have one, two, Hold on, let me separate everything here because told you guys I'm messy. I am a messy crafter and it's okay. There we go. We have all of these. Look at the prettiness. Look at the prettiness. And look how that is going to look beautiful. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. So I'm going to start with the flip-flops. I'm going to put a red Notice how I am not overlapping, and then I'm going to put a polka dot. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to fold in half, and I'm going to pinch. Okay? I don't want the ribbons all on top of each other, so see how nicely they fan out. And yes, the flip-flops will go in different directions, but... That's how I want them to go. I don't want them to look like boot camp. You know, I want them to go all over. And I'm going to go in and we're going to go on the outside. So we're going to use the outside. And that's where we are going to put our pretty tails. 
and I'm gonna give it three good twists. And then I'm going to go in and cut my tails. Push down and we'll come back. We'll come back to fix them all up. I'm gonna show you guys a cute little trick because you want the tails to go where you're gonna see them when you hang the wreath, not what you see when you have it laid down. It's just a little different. So again, one red, was this two? No, red and blue, okay? You can do this, but I prefer to just stagger them like so, fold in half, take your middle, pinch, and go around. Oh, Tony, welcome for the first time. Thank you all so much. First time joining us. I am Nadia from Nadia's Crafty Corner. We are putting together this beautiful summer flip-flop wreath. Okay. We go back to that. Okay. Because you know me, I could fluff ribbons for two hours. Okay, fold, pinch, no, sorry, fold, <laughs> open, <laughs> and pinch. And that's how we're going to do it. Where am I? And again, on the outside um, ring, where we only had the blue, and now we just added so much beautiful color. So, so much. Mary, your first time as well. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much all for joining us. Look at so much, look how much color we just added. See that? Now it all comes together. And oops, now you can push this to the front a little bit. You see that? Look how all the colors come in. and blend, so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Where is my curl? I want my curl to go to the front. We're going to mix in some color. See, I can't resist. I just can't resist, but the fluff. This beautiful ribbon. There we go. And keep it going. Look at that, look how much color we just added and we only <laughs> did three. So one, two, three, and this is all cut and measured for you and it comes all nice and sealed. Everything you need is in your kit. Everything you need. No leftovers, no extra tools required. There we go. Sorry, I like to sing every once in a while. Makes me forget that it's snowing outside of New York. <laughs> it makes me focus on these pretty colors. Pretty, pretty. See, there we go. Now, when I do the tails and, you know, they come to you sometimes, the positioning of it or whatever now, I am not going to make them any shorter than I do. But if you feel that something is too long, you know, you can just go in and cut. Just don't cut too much because, you know, we could cut, we can't put it back. So if you feel like, oh, that's bothering me, it's a little too long, just cut it and all you do is... Let me grab something so I can show you. Hold on, so I can show you. Um, so all you do is cut it diagonally. That's it. That's all you do. So you don't lose the diagonal little cute little thing that we do to match the rest of the tails, okay? go how long is the ribbon 13 inches where do we find the kit 
Candy the Kid is on my website, which is uh, www.nadiascrafts.com. If you give me one second, I'll try to pin it. I was having some issues with my computer. I couldn't find us there, but I will. So it is www, nope, wrong. dot you know when just you're not used to the I don't have the keyboard naughty uh, crafts dot com there here's the website where you can find um my kit and everything should be in the oops in the featured um pin there we go i pinned it okay uh it should be in the featured section now this particular kit what you will see in the photo is most the sign and the ribbons because you know i didn't make the wreath yet so you won't see the wreath you will see just the sign and the ribbons okay so we are going to finish this up hey sherry there we go oops that was a bubble wrap <laughs> that was my bubble wrap that i stepped on sorry hope i didn't scare anyone Okay. Oh, oh, look what I did. I skipped. No, no, no. I skipped one of the curls. See what happens when I get excited? I bet that's when I started talking about the sign. And I got all excited. Okay. All excited about my sign. Mm, there we go. Fluff them out. Okay. Oops. See? Just like that. Just as long as you go diagonal, so you're going to be matching. The others. And... In one second, I'm gonna show you how, what I find to be the easiest way to fluff my ribbons. Once I am done, I think we have one more tail to put in. And there we go. So I'm gonna leave that one like that. So I have more tails to show you how to fluff it. There we go. Scrunch in the center and in the pipe cleaner they go. Okay. All right. There we go. So what I find to be the easiest way for me is I take my fingers as if they were scissors and just pull. Pull, don't pull straight out, but let me see what, how I can do it so that you kind of like up and out. So you give the ribbon a nice curve so that it stays nice. So you up, and out up and out and all the ribbon is wired so whatever directions you give it that's where it's going to stay okay so out up and out so that you form it the two and a half it's a little bit of a struggle to do it because you know my fingers don't really reach but 
We'll make it work. There we go. There we go. All right. So, I mean, I'm telling you, I could fluff ribbon all day. All day I could be doing this. All day. And just remember, what you see when you're working on your wreath, your wreath is sitting on a table, is different from what you want to see when you put it on your door. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of different things, okay? So, okay. So our ribbons are in. All our pipe cleaners are cut. Beautiful, beautiful. My colors are all in here. Oh, this is so pretty and colorful. Now, what do we got? Now we got the sign. I think I'm going to go here. No, actually, you know what we're going to do first? We are going to put our gorgeous bow in. Let's undress it. Well, let's... <laughs> take all the bubble wrap. See, once you take the bubble wrap, everything is nice and fluffed. So my suggestion is um, when you're doing this at home, um, for any bow, not just this particular one, uh, it, well, if you purchase from someone else, I don't know if the bows come fluffed and bubble wrapped, but um, I suggest that you leave the bubble wrap on as you put the bow in, okay? That way it's a little easier and it's better and you won't, it won't get ruined um, and it won't get squished. So I think I want my bow here and my sign right here. What do you guys think? And then once you get the kit, you can position it however you want it, but I think I like that. So let me, it won't connect and let me open. Huh, okay, Candy, give me just one second. So let me go in. So the other thing is whenever you're putting, I always say this, um, when you put the bow in, you can pick any of the holes, even if there was already a pipe cleaner in. Um, but you want to make sure that your bow stays on top. Like you don't want to sink it in too much. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Sorry, sorry everybody. Okay, you don't want to push it down too much. You want to make sure that the bow is nice and sitting on your mesh, on the mesh. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go in. I'm just twisting the pipe cleaners. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and put my sign into place. Oh, thank you, Mary. Candy, did you use the link I just pinned? Because I just realized I spelled Nadia with a capital N, and I don't know if it makes a difference, but it's not on the website with a capital N. But Mary was able to go in, so wait a second. Okay, Candy, just give me one second. One second. And I will um, check it out. Okay, so the other thing, sorry, I, I was totally off camera. When I go in to put my sign, um, I do not have a problem whatsoever if, ooh, there's too much mesh. No, you want there to be mesh. I actually, at times, depends on the spot of the wreath, 
go through the mesh. I don't pull it to the side. I go through it because that's giving me an opportunity to make sure that my wreath is not sink. I mean, my sign is not sinking in just like the bow. You don't want it to sink in, you know? Um, so, and I'm going to do the same on all the sides and just go in. Let me see. I don't know if you, you can't see, but go through the mesh. That way your sign stays up. Come on, I can't see my fingers. I cut my finger a couple of days ago, so it's like I can barely feel <laughs> my finger. And that's why, there we go, there we go. And then you wanna go in and adjust your ribbons. Look how pretty that looks. That's definitely screaming summer, summer. Okay, so we do this side. Where'd it go? Right here. Uh, there we go. I got it. I got it, I got it. And like I said, don't be afraid to use shared holes. It's totally fine. Um, we do it all the time for a lot of designs. Um, and then we're gonna go back and fix our design. It's Nadia'sCrafts.com. Yeah. Yeah, Candy, it's Nadia'sCrafts.com. No. I'm... Oh, my goodness. You know what? I am so sorry. I made the mistake. <laughs> Nadia's Crafty Corner is the... Um... I am so sorry, you guys. Um, it's the Facebook page. The website, it's Nadia'sCrafts.com. Forgive me. Forgive me. I guess I haven't had enough coffee today. Forgive me. Come on now. There we go. There we go. And our beautiful sign is in. It is in. There. All right, and I mean, really, we could fluff for hours. There we go. There we go. And now once it's all positioned, then we can go ahead and remove all the bubble wrap that way. Your, your loops are nice, and then you can play with the tails and again because it's all wired um just move them to whatever you want them to go you know and give them whatever direction or shape you wanted to give them and if you think that they're too long go ahead and just cut them on a diagonal so that they all match and because like i said I, if I leave them longer, you could go in and shorten them. But if I make them too short, then huh, you're kind of stuck with it. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, Candy, I'm so sorry. I was Tina, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lori. Hello, Lori. All right. There we go. All right, let me clean up over here because, you know, Messy, messy I am, as always. There we go. How about that? All right, let me bring you guys up so that we can, hello. Okay, so that we can look at it. You see, this is what I'm saying. Like once you, when you're working with your wreath and it's laying down, 
it's a different view of when you have it hanging on your door. So you just want to make sure, let me just make some room over here, that your ribbon tails are going, oh, we didn't put something to hang it. You want to make sure that your ribbon tails are going where you want it to go. And then, you know, it looks nice when you hang it. There you go. So I want all my ribbon tails to show. And look how colorful that is. Look at that. What do we think? Hmm? Again, we can play with those tails forever in a day. So this is the one version we did today. This is the other version, the other color, a little bit, you see? This is the brighter colors. This is a little bit more, you know, we used the natural burlap. So just a different look, but totally the same weight. And again, oops, oh, so sorry, forgive me. Um, again, you get the bowl ready-made, the little flower, everything is ready there um, for you. So any questions, just let me know. And don't forget about our little cute little flower class. And that could also be personalized and that's going to be tomorrow night. And if you have any questions um, about it, just send me a message. Um, if you already took one of my previous classes, please um, send me a message and let me know that you would like to participate um, and I will add you to the list and um, and that's it. I had a great time today. Uh, we are ignoring the snow out there and worrying about our <laughs> summer flip-flops that sooner or later we will <laughs> um, be able to wear. So again, thank you all so much. We have another live coming up tonight. That's going to be fun. That's going to be we're going to decorate a lantern, but guess what? There's another surprise for it, and it's going to be for Mother's Day. So join us if you can tonight at 7. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you.